over here is a, a marking uh, where the beam is because all the beams can still be shifted a little out of position and then with the multi-tool I can uh, open this up and we're gonna drill a hole in the madera And then we put in these bolts with a big washer on the bottom or a little smaller washer and then it's going to go through here and then the washer will end up with the part that I cut out and then we need to cut it out a little bit bigger here on the side so when we push the beam back we'll put the bolt in and then we can cement it here from the side push the cement in make sure that this bolt is anchored to the wall you don't need to tighten it, it just needs to be in the cement.
It's now half of April. And Philippe's grandma is still bringing me oranges. So uh, I bought this automatic thingy. <laughs> you saw Dwight last time uh, fiddling with the manual one. I like orange juice, but I'm not gonna fiddle that much. So let's use this automatic uh, device here. <laughs> And give me some nice orange juice. That is mighty fine. <laughs> So yesterday I went all the way to Stabranco to get some washes. I have now uh, 32. Should be enough. And what do we need? Pencil. Not much really. Multi tool. And one of these pieces of wood. <laughs> you saw me uh, using the pieces of wood when I put on the rafters. I measured that piece of wood exactly uh, so that the rafters would be 50 centimeters apart. I uh, learned this from Stefano. He helped out during the build of the first part of the roof. So you see, they moved around a little. Before we're gonna cut open the tijolo, I'm gonna rerun past all the rafters with this uh, pieces of wood to see that we still have the right distance. And then I'm going to mark them off. And then we're going to cut them open with the multi-tool. Fairly straightforward.
So, one side down, one side to go. Uh, yeah, it works with this multi-tool, but I think uh, the blade is already... The blade is already getting a little bit blunt. Or I was just more patient the other day. Uh, a lot more dirty, but a lot more fast. I don't like grinding, so that was I, why I was with the multi-tool. <coughs> but it goes a lot faster, so let's see how far we can get on this side then. Hi, hey, Fina. So we see ya. Hi. What <laughs> you jumping up on me? So I got all the tijolos opened up, but I didn't have uh, time yesterday to fill them up with cement. Uh, and because today I was video editing all day, you guys are now treated on another sunset. It's nice, right, to see this lovely sunset on video. So yeah, it went a lot faster with um, the grinder was to be expected. I think I spent uh, maybe a, an hour or a little longer on the whole row. So now all uh, I need to do is uh, mix some cement, fill up these holes. And Zabi and Akira are very impatient to see the roof uh, finished. Me too. Uh, let's get these rafters anchored.
Yeah, awesome and doom. They went pretty fast actually. <laughs> the whole uh, rafter park went a lot faster than on the other uh, part of the house. I think I spent four weeks on the rafters on the other side. It was uh, four, nine days. It's looking mighty fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the drone up tomorrow and uh, make a shot. Should be pretty cool. Uh, next video, roof decking. Uh, the roof decking is already treated because uh, Philippe and uh, Luciana did that. And it's, uh, it's in the uh, garage Rodriguez. There's still five packs that are not treated, but I'm not sure if I need them. So the other side should be fairly dry already tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I can start on the decking there. Uh, then I still need to buy some more uh, insulation and battens. But the roof decking will probably take me a couple of days also. Nothing happening in the village. See you on the next one. Bye!